Over the past 100 years, man has developed technology with ever-increasing speed. Technology based on principles older than the world. But was it really development? Or was it maybe also discovery? What inspired us most? Nature. Biomimetics is the science of using ideas from nature to improve human technology. So we look at the results of almost 4 billion years of evolution and see what the optimizations are, as well as the optimal solutions, to try to derive the essence and use that in human technology. Well, we started this investigation when we were looking at the links between birds' wing shapes and flight behavior. And then we noticed that especially large seabirds, they have a particular behavior, which was very striking. And normal, when birds slow down for landing, then they start to flap their wings, both of them. But these birds, they can't flap their wings because the wings are too long, so it's difficult to flap it. Uh, but they started to wiggle it. So that means they do sort of an oscillatory motion with the wings. And we were very puzzled by this. What is this? How does it actually work? We took this to the lab and uh, actually made a wing profile, put it in a float tank, started to oscillate it, and what we measured was an increase of the vertical force, so an increase of the lift force of 200%. So an increase of 100%, a doubling of the lift force. So we saw this effect on the natural wing, and which we tested in the lab, and then we thought, how can we apply this into a human application? So we thought of wind turbines. To see if this really worked, we tested small wind turbines in the wind tunnel. So wind turbine of a cross section of about a meter, put it in a wind tunnel, tested the power that comes out, and lo and behold, we indeed measured an increase in power, even up to double, but on average 25 to 30 percent higher, and especially at low wind speeds. Reduction of CO2 emissions is one of the biggest challenges we face today. Together with solar power, wind is one of the fastest growing sources of energy. For this reason, technical innovation is constantly aimed at squeezing more kilowatt hours from a windmill. The most important factors so far are mainly the location of the wind turbine, its size and the technology inside. With the idea of oscillating windmill blades, a completely new approach is taken, potentially with staggering yields in the windmill industry. Existing wind turbine blades can easily be adapted uh, for this new technique. If this is a wind turbine blade, we can oscillate the whole blade, of course. We can also oscillate only part of the blades and still harvest the advantages of this new uh, idea. Of course, there are quite a number of questions that pop out then, and that is how much of the blade actually has to be oscillated. In which way do we solve this technically? Can we find a low maintenance solution? And of course, how much power do we gain? And how much power do we need to put in? Uh, because there has to be a harvestable gain. In wind turbine parks, the wind speeds are often quite low, and then the gain from the whole park is relatively low. So this invention could be implemented in whole wind turbine parks and thereby improve the uh, gain from wind turbines uh, at sea or at land. A project on a pilot scale will have to entail a comparison between the current generation of windmills and the possible new variants. Which main questions need to be answered? 1. What are the energy gains in practice compared to traditional windmills? 2. Can this new technology be applied without negative effects on operational reliability and maintenance costs? This pilot will be carried out by professionals. A university with a high track record in the field of biomimetic research. A financial specialist on commercial and governmental financing and a management consultant experienced in the innovation and realization of major wind farms. A pilot with the potential to change the wind industry and accelerate the process of CO2 reduction. 